What up, what up world, it's your homeboy Wordplay TJ and I'm back with another video for you. This time around, I'm gonna show you how to run a Spotify audio ad for at least... So wait, 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 uh, just a second. This is not Spotify audio ads for $25. This is Spotify audio ads for $250. They sent me an email saying that I could get an introductory price at $25, but this is something that they're testing. They're not really giving it out to everybody. So, so I don't wanna lead people in the wrong direction and I wanna let you know exactly what you're getting. So Spotify audio ads start at $250 and if you get a special email, then you get one, but if you don't, than expected to be $250 a month. So what's up, what's up? My name is Wordplay TJ. I'm a hip hop artist from Little Rock, Arkansas, and I make music for the underdog. I started this channel because I wanted to help other musicians rise to the top and make the most out of their music business. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and subscribe and then hit that like button if you appreciate this video. All right, so let's get into it. How do you run a Spotify audio ad directly to listeners who might wanna listen to your music or anything else that you wanna sell to them? Let's go ahead to my computer and I'm gonna show you. All right, so here we are in Spotify Ad Studio. Before you get the opportunity to run these ads, you have to put in an application to Spotify Ad Studio. You can find that at adstudio.spotify.com. So once you're approved, you can go ahead and start creating your new ad. I'm gonna show you exactly how I did it to promote my new single at the top. All right, so first of all, it's gonna ask you, what are you promoting? Is it music related? Is it a concert or merchandise? Or is it a brand or product that you want to um, that you want to promote? For us on this channel is mostly going to be music related. But if you're watching this channel, if you have a brand or a product or anything that you want to promote, you can go ahead and do it with this button here. But we're going to focus on music related. So if you already have your music distributed to Spotify, and if you don't know how to distribute it to Spotify, I have a video for that link in the description exactly how to distribute your music through DistroKid. So we're going to select an artist. For me, of course, I'm Wordplay TJ. There I am. And then I want to name my ad. So I'm going to call this at the top Spotify promotion. Then I'll click next. All right. So how long do you actually want to run this ad? You can set your schedule and your budget. For me, I want my ad to start right away. So usually I select the same day that um, I'm making the ad and posting it. And typically I run my advertisements for about 30 days. So I'm gonna go to the end of the month. Now here's where things get really, really great. Your budget, $1,000, $2,500, $5,000. Nope, you can select a custom amount and the minimum is $25. All right, so wait a minute, I'm gonna stop you again. It is not a minimum of $25. Uh, I had that wrong when I recorded this video and what I wanted to correct is that the minimum is $250 no matter what. They're testing out people getting ads for $25 just to see if it will be a great thing to use in the future, but there's no guarantee that they're actually gonna do it. So let's get back to the tutorial. So let's talk about your target audience. As far as locations are concerned, you can only do one country at a time. So I'm gonna focus on the United States. But what about cities? Can you target down to maybe your hometown? And it looks like you can. You can go ahead and add different cities where you know your music might be more successful. So for example, if you do hip hop music, then more than likely your music is gonna be popular in major metro areas like Los Angeles, New York City, Seattle, even Atlanta. Me personally, I'm not really concerned about citywide targeting because I want new audiences to hear what I have to offer. I know a lot about my target audience, but if you don't know a lot about them, then I suggest that you pick an age range that sounds about right for the type of music that you make. For me, I know most of my fans are between 18 and 34 years old 
and I have that data directly from Spotify itself. The genders for my music is usually skewed heavily towards males, but I'm gonna add females in there just in case, or anybody else that may identify as something different. I'm gonna select all platforms. I want it on desktop, Android, iOS, Whatever people have in their hands and they're listening, I want my ad to be targeted towards them. The last thing you have here is additional targeting. So you can start with your genre. If you wanna target a wide audience, so for example, like you're a hip hop artist, maybe your fans are trap enthusiasts or maybe your fans are a little bit more mellow hip hop. This might not be the best targeting solution for you, but if you don't know exactly who your fans are, this might be better for you. If you do know who your fan base is, say they listen to more J. Cole, or say they listen to Sam Smith or something like that, whoever it is that your audience will be likely to listen to, I suggest that you may be targeted by the fan base. So this is what I did. I went ahead and selected artists like J. Cole, Tyler the Creator, I selected Mac Miller, Childish Gambino, and a few other artists. Down below fan base, you can target by interest. So say if somebody listens to a type of podcast or they listen to a type of playlist, then maybe your song that you're promoting would work well in something like that. If your music is motivating, maybe it will go for a motivating playlist. Whatever it is you think the interests are, you go ahead and target by that. One thing you have to remember is that you can't pick multiple of these targets. You have to pick one. Tying hand in hand to interest are real time context. So if somebody's listening to a playlist right now, say, like I said before, like they're going to work out. If you have music that fits into one of these playlists, go ahead and select real time context. Other than that, you can use no additional targeting. What if you want to target audiences that may not listen to these specific artists? Then you can select an audience that's as wide as possible. You never know. In my opinion, you might be wasting a little bit of money, but at the end of the day, you never know until you try it. So give it a shot. Over here on the right hand side is something that I really want to focus on. So it says based on your targeting, you can reach this audience for 0.002 cents per click. I think that's great. It's not guaranteeing results, but it is guaranteeing that you will get the impressions that you need in order for your ad to be heard. Here's the likelihood that your budget will be delivered. Mine's is really, really high. My budget is likely to be spent. It says my selected audience is suited to my budget. And for $25, the estimated ad serve would be about 10,000 and the estimated reach will be between 9,000 and 11,000. I encourage everybody to go ahead and invest in themselves and try out Spotify Ad Studio. Let's go ahead and see exactly how you make the ad. So I'm gonna go ahead and click next and then I'm gonna create my ad. So here for the image, you have to upload a file that is 640 by 640 pixels. I have something already ready, so I'm gonna go ahead and place it in there. Because people are listening to these ads, I don't know how important the artwork is, but if people see it, you might wanna pick something that's more striking, more appealing to the eye, especially something with your face in it. So next you will pick a Spotify click-through URL. It says, because tracks only play in shuffle mode on mobile, consider linking people to your artist playlist, an album, or profile page. This is great for me, so I'll go ahead and grab my artist link from my profile page. You'll just open up Spotify, go to share, and then copy artist link. And then you can paste it right there. So the next bit is that you upload some audio. You can also request a voiceover, so go ahead and write a script and they'll record it for you. But you won't get the opportunity to show off the track that you made because they're just recording from a script. Here are some of the guidelines for uploading audio. So you wanna to talk to fans directly. Say, hey Spotify, it's Wordplay TJ, you're listening to my latest track, here it is. Be sure to share your sound. Like I said before, you wanna add some music in the background, let people listen to what you got. You wanna give a clear call to action. So what I said was check out my single at the top from my new album, Overtime. Be sure to follow me right here on Spotify. You wanna connect with existing fans and discover new ones, and then you wanna to link to your music. Like I said before, your Spotify URL directly to your page is the best one. 
So here's some specifications for you recording your audio. And I suggest you use a program like Pro Tools, Logic, or even Adobe Audition. You can record it from your phone, but make sure that it's not too loud. By the way, in order to do anything with Spotify Ad Manager, you have to be on a computer. I just wanna make that clear. So here are some of the requirements for your audio file. The length has to be 30 seconds or less. The file types can be WAV, MP3, or OGG. The max file size is one megabyte. And the audio has to be WAV, 16-bit, 44 kilohertz, or MP3, at least 192 kbps. As far as how loud the sound is, it can't go over negative 14 dBs, and the track has to be normalized to negative 0.2 dbs i would suggest that you turn your music down to at least negative 3 db so you have plenty of headroom but you won't be peeking out too much and your track won't be too loud for spotify to play it so before i upload the audio i'm gonna let you hear what i did what up spotify is your homeboy wordplay tj you're listening to my latest track at the top don't forget to follow me right here on Spotify to hear my new album over time yeah. when it drops. I'ma put in work until I'm dead. Damn. We can kick it, but I'm never in the red with you. Nah. To win to make it profit, never scared business. Uh -huh. I'm always cooking up, that's a rare feeling. Uh. Looking to stepping it up like a Fitbit. Uh. Gotta be messing it up like a misfit. Huh. While it getting thicker than some biscuits, they trying, but they not like Chris Paul. Can't assist it. So after you upload your audio, you'll hit next, and then you'll put in your credit card for payment. Once it's done, it says your ad is gonna be pending approval. And once it's approved, it'll run for the scheduled time that you put early on in the ad process. For everybody watching this, I hope you have the best of luck with Spotify Ad Studio. So let me know in the comments section how it went for you. So that's it, until next time, it's your homeboy Wordplay TJ, peace. All right, so I know you came to watch this channel just to see this video, just to get this problem solved. What I do urge you to do is subscribe to this channel right over there. And then there's more videos on this page right now.